Yeah, I um, guess it is. But I, 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 I agree. I'm sick of it, too, a lot of this stuff. I would like to get onto the issues. Yeah. And the voters are going to need to know who's the most effective person to represent Kern County interests. Yeah. Who is the person that can has a long history, has held elective office, frankly. I've been elected for 15 years. I've stood up a, a, as a volunteer. You know, the most compensation I've ever received is health benefits. Uh, and I've done this out of conviction. I've led the fight for traditional marriage. I led the fight against Prop 1A last year when everybody said it was going to lose. I was out there with Howard Jarvis Taxpayer Association and Americans for Prosperity on the statewide level uh, helping with CRA's message. We were outspent $43 million to three, and yet we won. And we won because of the phenomenon of the Tea Party coming along. We won. But you know what? The forces are arrayed against me and how many people's toes I had to step onto to stand up and do the right thing. It was not only the governor. It was the Democratic Party. It was the Chambers of Commerce. It was the Farm Bureau. All those forces were for Prop 1A, which would have raised taxes on the middle class, the working class, and on small businesses. Okay. So Ken Mettler stood up there and said, no more heroin for the heroin addict. Why are we allowing government to grow? And do you think I stepped on a lot of toes when I go against my own party? I go against the Democratic Party. I go against the public employee unions. I go against the Chamber and the Farm Bureau and stand up for the people, do you think a lot of those people are uncomfortable with a guy like me, an independent conservative running for office? Heck, yeah, they are. Well, they, they seem to be pretty comfortable with trying to nail you with certain allegations because here's my concern, too, is what you can explain your political points of view, um, but then character and integrity, as you know, is what carries those points of view yep. all the way through to yep. a bill being passed in the state yep. or uh, managing money in the state and so on. Yep. Um, the ability to stay clean and to be able to fight these back to the point where they leave you alone because if you're a tough guy, People tend to pick on you even less as they figure out just how <laughs> tough you are. So, exactly. But you've been picked on a lot. Yeah, I have. Okay. And, I'll t and I'll tell you what, I will learn from all this. This is the first time I've stepped up to run for state office, okay? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a different level oh, it's than dirty. running. It's, it, it gets uh, heightened up. I've been subjected to a lot of backstabbing when I ran for high school board. Different level you go for state office. Right. So you got to remember, I'm acting as my own campaign manager. Mm -hmm. I do not have an extensive staff. I, did, I literally budget. I have no big budget. Yep. Uh, I do a lot of this stuff myself. I can't delegate to a bunch of minions. I don't have a staff or 10 or 12. I have no secretary. Right. I work out of my house. I don't even have an office. OK, so the people, you know, and I've got to run here because I got to go to another appointment. But I understand. I that. would like to leave it with the people that I, I am a good guy. I'm a human. I'm doing my very, very best. And, uh, you know, people can paint a picture about me if they wish. Uh, but what are they uh, so in fear of? But is, let me ask you, know. you this, too, in, in, because I know that you've got to go. But yes, if sir. you have become uh, almost the whipping boy for somebody to go and try to nail you for their own political uh, reasons, why wouldn't you in, at some point become the martyr to it? You Instead of going to Sacramento, you say, you know what, I'm going to expose everybody. Let's put a person <laughs> in who is clean. They've got nothing against them. We'll support them because your ideas are not only – they're not original. I mean, uh, the, the, they're just conservative, and we appreciate that. But we can get somebody else to go to Sacramento. If you stayed here and nailed these people that have been trying to nail well, you, why not do that? Let me tell you, though, I have a lot of support at the state level. We, we only have a few good areas that are safe Republican seats in this state. We need to send people like Tom McClintock. I, I am an admirer of Tom McClintock. If we keep sending people that are milk toast, go along, get along, people that want to be bipartisan, people that just are uh, place takers, we're never going to get any movement in this state. And so let me tell you something. I will advocate for Kern County to no end, and I will uh, be more politically savvy. I won't uh, allow my enemies to uh, have fodder. But at the same time, being safe has got this state into uh, uh, it's dysfunctional today. And uh, if we go the same old, same old status quo, we're being underrepresented. And I think there's nothing wrong with having strong conservatives with a proven track history in office. I have stood up repeatedly for conservative issues when no one else would. It, and, I've, and I've won a lot of battles. You know, the Kern High School District, let me tell you, I'm the guy that helped with, got a coalition together to get Christmas and Easter back in. We got the national motto in. We got the Pledge of Allegiance reinstated. Mm -hmm. And thank you for uh, all eight, that. And, and we got 400 uh, American flags backed in the classrooms that have been neglected. We stopped social promotion. 
mm-hmm. in that district. Got 19,000 kids in the credit recovery. Hey, we, got a, we got an $85 uh, million dollar, uh, reserve that we would not have had if we hadn't cut $50 million in waste. We got career technical going. I could go on and on. I've been doing this stuff as a volunteer for years, making things happen that are to the betterment. I also am instrumental in getting the water issue on the national agenda at, at last year's convention. Got Paul Rodriguez here. Uh, Inga Barks was instrumental. Uh, we got uh, uh, Sean Hannity to get him on nationwide. Got Sean Hannity out here and got that, and I did that as a volunteer, helping uh, get the water issue on the national stage. I didn't have a staff. So yeah, anyway, I've kind of, well, I'm sorry I've gone on and on. And <laughs> I, I know, and I appreciate that. And you deserve to have that platform because you've come in here in some very tough situations and answer questions. And one last question, which was uh, on the that last caller's comment, which was uh, you were on television, said, well, no, I had not met her before, but this time you say you have met her, and you say that was a mistake and human. Yeah. Um, at what point is a mistake, or do you just say, you know what? Actually, I didn't know how, how to answer that. A, a little white lie there. Um, no, I wasn't no. real sure. But when do we delineate the fact that something is true, not true, and truly yeah. a mistake? Because well, a mistake like that's kind of hard, sure. especially you, you've done it twice, right? No. <laughs> no? Just that one time? No, that was it. That was that ambush deal with the little camera. And that uh, was my, it. my reaction to her was I didn't want to talk to her, and I did misspeak. I am human. I should have, even my political opponents, even an operative, I should have just said yes and just dealt with it right there. It just, it was just a, an awkward situation, and I made a mistake, and I'm being honest about it. I'm on, on radio in front of everybody in the world saying I was wrong, and I should have said yes when I, instead, I accidentally and incorrectly said no to my political operative who has been antagonizing the heck out of me. And anyway, I'm being upfront about it. Mm-hmm. I made an error. It, I, would I Shannon would Shannon Holloway, if we had the opportunity to be able to speak to her and ask her, uh, was she put up as a political ploy against uh, to actually confuse voters? Would she say that she was as a good Christian woman is out of her honesty? Would she say that she was put up for that reason or not? Uh, uh, that, she, she she would have to speak for herself. She already answered that though, and that, that she met with her family and they made she made her decision. Okay. So it was that it was a political strategy, and I'm I'm still still curious about that strategy. Well, there, there, you know what? On these elections, like I said, you could have 20 people show up to run. You don't know. You yeah. just don't know human nature. You don't know who wants to run, who doesn't. You don't know if my family circumstances changed and yeah. I couldn't show up and file that day. Things move very quickly. Would that be a good secure? But but I've got to run, guys. Got to run. And gotta... uh, thank you. Uh, I uh, appreciate the opportunity to clear the air. And uh, and I just can tell you, I'm a great conservative. I'm a hard worker. Uh, I will be more politically savvy and uh, and uh, try not to get. And uh, now I've got computer guys to make sure my computer's not hacked. Oh, yeah. Make sure that uh, need a good that, password, brother. Well, and I'm going to check to see if people are filming me or following me around. Uh, I have taken. Uh, I, I have to be aware that I do not have the staff. <laughs> yeah. And I've got to. Uh, be cognizant that I have political opponents that Thank will you. stoop to any level. And thanks for joining us on the program. We really Thank appreciate you. you coming on MoneyWise to tell us what happened in your very good. Of view. Thank you very much. Um, that, that is uh, Brian Walters, the brother yeah. of Barbara Walters. Well, you know, I, I did not honestly want to have to do an interview like that. However, that interview needed to be done right here on Kern Radio, and it needed to be done by local personalities that uh, we don't have any connections to any kind of a political group whatsoever. That being said, um, our point of view was actually somewhat innocent in this one. We just want to get the answers. I only know what I read and see just like you folks.